sometimes you just got to know when to let go. You know, and this is a, a major issue with people, especially those who deal with narcissists or have dealt with narcissists in the past or currently. They have a very hard time letting go, and not only of narcissists, but of situations that does not serve them well. I mean, I've seen and counted countless of times where people will still engage and involve themselves with things that does not serve their best interests. <clears throat> A lot of this happens in the family dynamic, friendship dynamic as well. Um, there's people who are what you can consider takers or people who don't reciprocate as you do. And you you hold on to them. And a lot of it's out of familiarity. You've gotten comfortable with the faces and the individuals that you have been associating with for such a while that you hold on to them. Because it's familiar. You. You make excuses for their, you know, uh, improper treatment of you. You let certain things slide. You overlook things. You give them passes. This, these things, with these traits within you, is a lot of what has you, or what had you, some of you, um, so tied in and wrapped up into the narcissist not being able to sever ties properly right and it's not just a narcissist it's those who you have for whatever reason set something to be valuable to hold on to right whatever that is um that you've placed in there is pretty much why it's carried over into other aspects of your life involving many different types of relationships or it's friendships and, you know, those type of things. Family, as I mentioned, this is a spillover from how you've become accustomed to dealing with things and not let not knowing when to let go <clears throat> when to let go some of you you let go but then you turn around and and welcome them back in or entertain them again and i'm not talking about exclusively just narcissists now because some of you say well i've let the narcissist go i've cut the narcissist off but you're still dealing with toxic individuals that are around you outside of a relationship capacity you're still having those that have similar ways and traits of a narcissist to still be involved within your life so it's not just letting go of narcissist it's letting go of people and things that does not properly serve you well or does not mean you any good <clears throat> that's what i mean by learning when to let go learning when to disassociate yourself because here's the thing those who you forgive <clears throat> and they've had this way of treating you are behaving with you it's not like they're gonna change just because you got mad a couple of times and you you know you pulled away or whatnot that's not gonna change it's not you're gonna come back and it's gonna be the same way the only resolve is to let go that's it. They'll still try to pop back around and all this, <clears throat> you know, figure out why and what all these other things. But 
you have to understand, like, a lot of times people are stuck in their ways. And if they've gotten by treating you a certain way for so long, that's not going to just change because you got a little mad at them and you, you know, it's not going to change. Eventually, over time, it's going to have to come where come down to at least where you fully let go. And I think a lot of it is because people are afraid of what it would be like to not still have those individuals around. A lot of people are not good at socializing and making new friends. A lot of people are not good at being good judges of character and and being able to do that easily, right? A lot of people aren't sociable like that. So it's very hard for them to do in the first place. So they rather stay put with what is familiar, what has been treating them in a certain way and whatnot. They rather continue to deal with that. And that can be dangerous because that aligns you, that sets you up to condition yourself to be tolerant of those types of behaviors. You build a certain level of tolerance to where you're going to become more and more accepting of that type of behavior the longer you allow yourself to dwell in it and accept it. And to those individuals do something so egregious that you have no option but to not look back. But it takes a whole lot. A lot of you, the threshold before you're actually absolutely done takes an enormous amount. When some of these things should be instant disqualifiers. This is just something that has to be taken into account. Letting go, it's not just letting go of narcissists, because we speak about narcissists, but we want to talk about in other areas and all other aspects of your life that can possibly, you know, obstruct, hinder, or disturb who you are, your growth. You know, your peace of mind, your well-being, all of these things have to be taken into account. So, therefore, not just the practice of the awareness of when to cut a narcissist off, but when to cut anyone off who does not serve you in any good. It can be lonely. It can be... Yeah, it can be quite dramatic of a change. Because, you know, a lot of that entails starting all over. (coughs) Excuse me. With uncommon people and things that you're not used to, you're not familiar with. And that change, that is one of the biggest things that stops people, that fear of change. That fear of operating without what is familiar to them. It absolutely terrifies some people and it causes them to pedal backwards or to stay put. They may step out a little bit, but then they run back in, you know, because it just feels too uncomfortable. Well, in order to affect change, you're going to be uncomfortable at first, but then it gets better. Right. So you have to be able to know that when you decide to let go of something that is toxic or whatever that doesn't serve you well, 
you have to be prepared to deal with being uncomfortable, being unsettled for a little while until things come back into um, a norm for you where you can start to feel okay and feel comfortable with the new surroundings, new setting, new people, or if it's not new people, just the new way of being. But this is important. I just felt this message needed to be shared. Anyway, make sure to like, subscribe. If you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation, click the link in the description box. Email me. I'll give you information on how to do that. Until next time, have a good one.